A few days ago, Snacks ran into this issue. Looking for the knife. Oh, slice, slice. And there it is. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's not oh, dead no. yet. In the time between this and the patch of the bug, I made a pretty lengthy post on a possible explanation for what happened. I was wrong, and others found the correct issue within a short comment. But nonetheless, while making the post, I found a lot of interesting characteristics of the knife I never really thought of before. The code itself can be found on the Reddit comment in the description, as the only other place I could find this was on a cheat form. First, hit detection. I've already made a video on it here without going into how it's implemented in the game, which is basically what you need if you're just a player of CSGO and don't really care how it's coded in. It explains why you can knife someone even if you're not aiming on them. The actual way it's made is in this comment. In short, whenever you knife, the game sees if your knife range, which acts as a line or array, is is within the other person's access align bounding box, not their hitbox. What's really cool is using a console command, you can actually see the knife line in game, but just one with unlimited range. By typing cast underscore ray in the console, a green beam will just kind of shoot out wherever you're looking. If this ray, with the given range, is inside someone's box, then the damage is done and the knife resets. However, if you miss, there's more to the story. A new thing spits out, called a hole trace, which isn't a line this time, but is a cube sent out from your vision. This again can be seen by typing cast underscore hole. But again, the range of it is infinite unlike in the game. Because the cube's origin, or starting corner, is based on your vision, the knife range becomes wider the closer you get to the wall. That's really most of what you need to know for the implementation of the knife. If you have a hard time picturing this like I do, then a video that breaks it down with colorful shapes that generally works is right here on the screen. Or it's in the top right. I miss you annotations. Next, the knife range. According to this code, whenever you stab or right click, the range in units your knife reaches is 32 and when slashing or left clicking, the range is 48. However, this doesn't seem to be true. According to this commenter, the knife range is an additional 23. However, I found it to be 32. Maybe they just had a typo or they had different findings, but I have video evidence, so yeah. Next, what you actually care about. Timings and damage. There seems to be two delays for the knife, one called prime delay and the other called sec delay. Prime delay is the delay for the next primary attack or left button attack after you've started attacking, and sec delay is the next secondary attack or right mouse button. If you try to stab someone and you do hit them, the delay of both your next primary and secondary attack is 1.1 second, but if you miss, Valve is nice and reduces the delay to one for both. If you left attack and hit your opponent, both your next left and right click will have a 0.5 second delay. What's strange is if you left click and miss, the delay is only 0.4 for the next attack if you left click, but 0.5 if your next attack is a right click. What do you need to take from this? Something pretty important that's kind of already been established in the community. The double right technique will take a total of 1.1 seconds, but the left left right technique will only take 1 second. On to damage. The numbers of CSGO are a bit different than CSS, but everything else seems to be the same. I'll just substitute the source values now except this one. And now, they're mostly CSGO values. Why not this one? Well, it's kind of weird. By default, the damage of the knife is set to 42 in CSS, but then it's changed no matter what, so I don't even know why it's being initialized with the number here. Optimization update needed. Anyway, in CSGO, if you stab someone, this damage becomes 65, regardless if it's your first or second stab. If you backstab someone, this damage is multiplied by 2... 0.7692307696. For some reason, this seems to have changed to a different calculation of some type for the backstab. No idea why. For CS Source, it's just the right click multiplied by 3. Left click is a bit strange. Your first attack is 40, and subsequent attacks while holding your mouse down deal 25. Yes, you heard me right. You don't get reduced damage for missing your first swipe. All of your swipes are reduced after your first swipe. There's one more thing. Armor. The first left click on an armored opponent does 34 instead of 40, and later attacks do 23 instead of 25. For the right click, no matter if it's your first or second stab, the attack does 55 instead of 65 on armored opponents, and the backstab does 163 instead of 180. What does this mean? Actually, something interesting I haven't seen before. If you're against an unarmored opponent, since a left does 40 and a right does 65, you only need one left attack, then a right attack to kill someone, not the left-left-right technique. Maybe I'm just blind, but I've never seen someone do this before. Easy pistol rounds. For armored opponent, you still need to do the left-left-right attack though. In conclusion, knives and stuff.